countries across the globe are scrambling to secure cleaner energy sources, South Africa has ambitious plans to plug this gap. South Africa has been expanding renewable energy. We're blessed with adequate sun and wonderful wind. Uh, and in addition to that, we've launched now some pilot projects in green hydrogen. We're sharing that with BRICS partners and we're learning from BRICS partners to see how we can inject a greener industrial capability across the five BRICS countries. South Africa, like the rest of Africa, is well positioned to become leaders in green hydrogen. A feasibility study found green hydrogen could add up to 8.8 .8 billion US dollars to South Africa's GDP by 2050. One of the biggest advantages is South Africa's vast platinum reserves. We are uh, involved in two projects, uh, one being a manufacturing uh, project of fuel cell components for fuel cell aggregates, the new engines of the future, for especially for uh, heavy vehicles, but also stationary applications. And then our second project is the rollout of hydrogen fuel stations in the Gauteng area. Hydrogen is a, is a very CO2 friendly fuel of the future. It's basically water, effectively. And uh, we have an abundance of sun here in South Africa and of wind. There's a particular focus on skills development and training in South Africa's hydrogen roadmap. This would involve synergies and partnerships amongst Africa and the BRICS nations with opportunities for youth. This year in particular, we have been able to embed the work of the Skills Development Working Group across the other sector-facing working groups. As we speak at the moment, there is an energy masterclass that is targeted at youth, trying to impart skills to youth um, to be able to provide solutions in the energy sector. Next month, we will be hosting the BRICS nations, they'll be coming back, uh, but this time it will be youth. South Africa has already launched a $1 billion fund that would be used to fast track the construction and development of green hydrogen projects. In the meantime, it wants to learn and collaborate with its partners like China, which is the world's leading producer of the components and technologies for green and solar energy. Sumitra Nadu, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.